Check out this cool color charger. Definitely a wrap. Looks cool though. Hundred and sixty thousand miles on a twenty fourteen Dodge Durango. How many miles do you have? Drop it. Drop a comment. Blow, you know, like blow my finger, drop a comment. Quick Durango update while I'm cruising here safely. Uh I was getting 17 MPGs uh pretty pretty regularly, but uh I had a, did some stop and go driving. It's a Sunday, I did some stop and go driving all this weekend. Um so yeah, now I'm down to 16.2, but not bad for 5.7 Hemi with 160,000 miles. It's the eight-speed auto 2014 Durango. For those that maybe you don't know, um, you may be wondering why I'm got a check engine light there. Um, that's the O2 sensor. Uh, stream one uh, was it? How's it go? Stream one, sensor one, whatever. Um, it's a, it's the furthest one to the top on the driver's side. Um, I replaced it, but I didn't replace it with a Mopar one, which was my bad. Um, but I find out that the check engine light will eventually come back on if you don't do a Mopar one. So I think my plan is to do a Mopar one, possibly all four of them. Um, you know, I'll do a Mopar one and then I'm thinking, uh, it should shut off then. But some plans for the Durango. I want to check the driveline fluid, you know, check the rear diff, uh, check all the fluid, maybe even see about servicing the um, transmission. Um, I'm going to do some research on that because I heard some mixed reviews on if you should service the transmission or not on these eight speed autos. Um, some people saying don't touch them, other people saying you can touch them, just don't flush them. Um, definitely won't be flushing. But just thinking, uh, you know, possibly drain and refill. But we'll see. Uh, that, I want to do um, all 16 spark plugs. Um, I haven't done spark plugs in this thing uh, yet. And I've had the car for, I just put um, 52,000 miles on it since I got it uh, seven years ago. So, yeah, it's due for spark plugs. It's been too long. Um, other than that nothing too crazy maybe some visual things that i have kind of in the works uh you know just some maintenance stuff just did the water pump you know a thousand miles ago maybe 500 miles ago and uh that's been good that's treated me well um you can see the turn signals are moving kind of quick i put some off the shelf led ones from like autozone but uh they look fine but they kind of hyper blink in here so i'm just gonna you know go to walmart or even AutoZone and just get regular ones because that's kind of annoying when you start the car it says uh, that the turn signal is out when it's really it's not out it works up front I verified it outside the car but uh, it doesn't even blink it doesn't hyper blink either in the headlight housing but uh, the hyper blinks on on my dash here as you can hear it so yeah so anyways that's a, just a quick update don't want to blab on too much I already blabbed enough but yeah, expect some more footage on a Durango. And I get asked this all the time. That's just a Mopar brake controller. So if I have a trailer with electronic brakes, that is an OEM brake controller that you can add if your car doesn't have it. Your newer Durangos have a brake controller down here. Um, but the 2014, some of the older ones, uh, I believe, unless you got a tow package. But mine didn't have a tow package, but I had the wire harness for the tow package in the 2014s, luckily. So all I had to do was add the Mopar hitch um, and the wire harness was already there. So then I added this. I actually never even used it because the only trailer I used uh, was an electronic brakes, um, which is those U-Haul trailers. But anyways, just a quick job update. Have a good one, guys. Peace.